Hi, this is Brian with Profitless Media and Post. This is just going to be a real short video on an amendment I needed to make from the video I released this morning about the Surface Tracker. There was a couple things that I forgot to put in, probably because I rushed making the video, and I, I overlooked a couple things that I really wanted to put in. One is, when you get into manual adjustments, is that we talked about you know being able to track one point at a time, and one of the things I didn't mention was that you can actually grab more than one point and move them at the same time. By holding down command you can drag and you can put a circle around uh, the points you'd like to select and then you'll have this bounding box where you can move these sections together in one. So just by clicking in the center you can see you can move it around then you can use the edges to scale it and if you hover off the corners you can rotate. This is really helpful when you're manually tracking so that you can keep the complex edges together. So I just wanted to point that out. The other thing I wanted to point out was in the final composite, I can't believe I overlooked this, but I had forgotten to put the finger back over the final comp. Thanks to Paul S for pointing this out. I can't believe I forgot that, but I did. So what I did was I ended up tracking the finger. You can see here, let's look through here. I track the finger, and the way that I did it, you can see this bounding box is really large. The movement was so fast that I made a larger bounding box so that it would track. The default tracking position, which is much smaller, like this, kept on falling off, so I just made this larger, and it tracked in the finger pretty well. Then I added that tracker to the polygon center before I made the shape. If you add the tracker to the center of your polygon before you draw the shape, then the shape won't shift. And then I took that polygon, and in each one of these, I just added the polygon in to mask out that area and bring back our original finger. So now if we look through, you can see now the finger is back over the original image, and that is a much nicer composite. So anyway, that's just a couple things that I had forgotten in the original video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again in another video.